Hey guys, it's Brooke for the Vintage Gardener. Today is Monday, October 8th, excuse me, the 7th, and it is ooh, three days to my closing, which is Thursday. And I'm, it's the last few days in the garden. And so I'm gonna show you something I saw that I was quite amazed by. Oh, I'm sorry, I've been giving you views of everything but my face here. So I was noticing one of my peonies. Look! Ta-da! The peony, those, are, those black things are seeds. I didn't realize any of them were gonna be producing seeds because it doesn't always happen. So I'm gonna collect these because I have a little bag with me and I'm gonna run around and see whether or not any of my other peonies have seeds. Ooh, that one has seeds too. Okay, so I'm gonna be collecting some peony seeds, guys, because um, I have some, I already have some already, but you can never have enough peony seeds because I know they, in terms of germination, it's a little bit more. Ooh, whopper snoop, no, 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 no. So this dog, okay, let's see. Apparently not all of them did seeds. Some of them are, ooh, that one did have seeds, but it looks like they already dropped to the ground. Hmm. Okay, so let me put the camera down and I'm gonna go take care of them. Okay guys, so I'm back inside. And so here is my bag of seeds. Now most of these were from one plant that I don't even remember what kind of peony that was. I think it was a Sarah Bernhardt, but the thing is, it's open pollinated. So I have I have a few different types of peonies, so it'll be interesting to see what they look like. But I'm really excited because peonies are one of my favorite flowers. So I'm looking forward to plant, planting these when I get into the new place. So I'm still packing. Um, the bulk of the stuff was put on the truck on Saturday excuse me, the pod on Saturday. I'm doing things like my closet because that's where my clothes, where I'll need to access those. And just little odds and ends. I'm doing a lot of cleaning and throwing stuff out. Tomorrow I'm going to work for half a day and I'm gonna take a little bit of break because I did not sleep well. I've been sleeping on an air mattress and let me tell you what, that is not comfortable at all. And so I did, I just went to Walmart and I got, I don't know if you can see it right here. I purchased a it's a, it's a foam mattress, it's eight inches. I mean, listen, it's not as good as the mattress that I had, but I gotta tell you, it's probably better than an air mattress. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap, uh, cause I do, actually, I do have a little bit of work to do. I have to file an answer to a complaint. So I'm gonna get done, done tonight, it doesn't take long. And I've got my clothes just about packed. Um, what I'm gonna try to do after taking a nap is I'm gonna go to Lowe's, I'm gonna get one of those wardrobe boxes because I do have things on hangers, put those in. I just remembered that I did not clean out, I did not clean out my cloak closet, um, which actually it won't be too bad because I'm pretty much gonna box everything at this point or put them in a, va a space vacuum bag. And there's, I have like a little box at the bottom to put like, boots and stuff. A lot of the stuff I'm just going to trash. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be trashing a lot of stuff. Uh, so I filled up my trash cans, but my town allows you to take trash to the dump, the township dump. So when I come back from work, I'm going to try to put as much trash in my car now and in this evening so that when I leave work, I can just go drop it by. I'm cleaning out my pantry and let me take you in here. There we go. A lot of that stuff in there are dried goods, and so, which are still good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it to work tomorrow, because I have like pastas and kind of stuff, and I don't wanna really, I really don't wanna throw it away, and I'm sure somebody could use it. So I'm gonna take stuff to work and just say, hey listen, I'm cleaning out the pantry because I'm moving, take what you want. Uh, because I'm sure somebody in my office is gonna want it. I actually have some ciders down here, yeah, uh, I got it from a local farm market. I got some blackberry cider and I even have a peach cider. So I did not pack away my Instapot because I was so we're still using it. But what I'm gonna do, because my Instapot is the Instapot Max, so it has a 
crock pot function. So I'm actually gonna take it and keep that at work. And I'm actually gonna make some hot cider one day, which I think everybody will like, because they're all upset with me because I have not baked anything, because I started sewing clothes. So, sorry guys. But anyway, that's it. So, sorry about this video, it's kind of short. It's not the way I usually make them, but everything's packed away right now, so a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I will be doing a, a little bit of a tour of how the house is changing since everything's been packed away, and then I'll do kind of a final tour. Um, my lawnmower, I have a little issue with it, so. I'll give you guys a garden tour, I apologize. I kept my lawnmower is electric, and with one of the inspections was done, somebody damaged the plug on my charger, so I can't recharge the battery now, so I'm not happy about that. I may see if I can get like Amazon to send me a new one. I do have Amazon Prime, so sometimes I know you can get like a next day delivery type thing. So if I can do that, that way I can power it, because I feel kind of bad giving the house to the new owner and be like, okay, hey, by the way, sorry wasn't able to mow the lawn you know what I'm saying but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles so I'll see you guys later